How to rig more complex characters in Adobe Animate using the Bone Tool. Complete workflow. When a character is too complex or has multiple colors, it's necessary to break the character into multiple pieces, convert each piece to a movie clip symbol, and then rig the character with the Bone Tool. I am in Adobe Animate, and I have created this monster, this pink dragon, and I duplicated the layer and hid the top layer. The idea being that um, if I mess up, I still have an untouched copy of it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut off the head and I'm going to animate that. So let me just go here. I'm going to use the lasso tool and take the head. I'm going to do edit cut. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to hide the old layer and I'm going to do edit paste. And now I have the head. So this is just the head. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the top and bottom jaw. And I am going to transform this into a symbol. It's going to be a movie clip symbol called bottom jaw. Okay. And this one will be a movie clip symbol um, called top jaw. So I'm going to just use the lasso tool around it. Right click and then for to symbol top jaw. And now I'm going to take the bottom jaw, the top jaw, move them together. And then I'm going to use the bone tool to connect them with like a hinge. And if it works properly, I should be able to open and close the mouth. And that works properly. Good. So now let me just rename this head. And I'm going to hide this layer and I'll, I'll work on it again later. <clears throat> so now I go back here and uh, my issue is the, the legs. So I'm going to take my lasso tool and uh, let me go back to the correct layer. Let me make myself be in the correct layer. I'm going to use my lasso tool to take the leg. So I'll do edit cut. I'm going to create a new layer. And in that new layer, I'm going to do edit paste. I'm going to hide the layer with the body in it. And just focus on, on the leg. So um, I'm going to cut the leg into three parts. Let me make sure that I'm in the correct layer. There we go. Let me cut the leg into three parts. So this is the top of the leg, which I will move away. And then the middle part of the leg, which I will lasso and move away. So now they're apart from each other and then that's the, the bottom part. Um, now in this case when they move I don't want to have gaps in there so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna deselect everything. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna use my eyedropper to get that color and I'm going to just add a circle here as a small hinge and I'm gonna do that to every joint in the dragon's leg. So now I'm just going to call this uh, convert to symbol. I'll, I'll call it shoulder or front shoulder. Okay. Convert to Movie clip shoulder, um, front arm, 
and I'll loop this one and call it <coughs> front claw. So now I will move them together. And I will use the bone tool. You have to start at the shoulder, go to the arm, and then to the claw. Cannot do it the opposite way because the where you start the uh, bone tool, it'll be fixed. So there we go. The arm works. And I'm going to call that front arm. <coughs> And I'm going to duplicate it so that it has two front arms. Okay, so now I'm going to hide front arm and front arm copy. And I'm going to go back here and unhide this and see what else we have to deal with. And it seems we have the back arm to deal with. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to follow the exact same directions on the back arm. Let it cut. New layer. Edit. Paste. We'll go back here and hide this layer. We'll go up here to this layer. And we're going to cut it apart. So with my lasso tool, I'm going to select the right shoulder the, the shoulder and i'm gonna put a little hinge here i will use my lasso tool to select the rear leg and i will and a little hinge here and a little hinge here and then I'll add a little hinge to the claw okay so let's just start selecting these and I'm gonna say um, convert to symbol movie clip symbol back shoulder Back arm. Back claw. And now I get to put it all together and then I'm going to use the bone tool. So there we go. There we go. Starting at the shoulder, down to the arm, from the arm. Nope. I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't know why that's not working. Let me do Control Z and try again. Sometimes, there we go. All right, so let's see how it works. Very nice. And put it back in place. I did not mean to do that. There we go. I'll put it back in place. And it's called Armature 9, but I'm going to call it Back Leg. Okay, so and then we're going here. This is the body. Hide the back leg layer, and now we're going to um, divide this up. So uh, the best way to divide it is everywhere you see the body bending. So I'm going to take this, and I'll move it away. 
I'll take this and I'll move it away and separate them. And this and I'll move it away and that. Okay, so now let's deselect everything and let's go here and grab some pink. Let's grab a circle. You see how I'm adding these circles to each piece of the dragon so that the joints kind of go together. So now I'm um, just going to take my brush, I'll make it nice and fat, and I'm going to fill in where the, the legs were, where the, that joint is for the leg. Okay, so we'll just kind of So, I'm going to take this and I will convert to symbol and we'll call it, um, why don't we instead start at the front of the body? Body one. Body two, there we go. Okay, so this is convert to symbol. Okay, so cancel. Let me just go here to library. Um, I've got body one, I got body two, so this will be body three. And this will be body four. Okay, so now let's see what we got here. All right, we've got our sneaky little body here and I go to body one I forgot to put that circle there so what you can do if you're in a situation where you need to edit a symbol is just double click on it and you can go in and add to or edit or the symbol so I'm gonna make another circle here and I'll just add it there for where the neck is I'll go back and now I have all the different parts and now I have to uh, rig my now um, you have to start at the neck to the second body part to the third body part to the fourth body part to the last body part so theoretically one two three four so when you grab it it'll sneak around and because you put those circles in it it won't 
have any weird looking gaps in between the body parts. So let's just take this entire thing and move it down here. Uh, let's unhide the head, the, the legs. Let's unhide the front legs. Unhide the head. Now this should be on a lower level, so we'll put it underneath the body. And then I've got to duplicate this layer and bring it down underneath the body. There we go. Okay, so this is called Armature 11, but it's actually the body. So we'll name it Body. Okay. So I'm just going to go through every single layer. This is the front arm. We like that. This is the back leg. We like that. This is the body. We like that. This is the back leg. Copy. Now this doesn't look like it's an armature layer, so I'm throwing it in the garbage. Um, and this is not an armature layer, so I'm throwing that in the garbage. So now I just have the entire skeleton and it is rigged. Um, so I'm just going to unlock the layers. And now I have my entire skeleton rigged the way I want it to. So I can move it and it can be animated. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go about one second in and I'm going to use the, the uh, command key to allow me to select multiple layers. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a pose. Now, what this means is that I'm going to get it to move. So I've got to figure out where I want everything to be at one second. Now, it's still not all that easy to, to rig. Once you've rigged the puppet, 
you got to make sure that it doesn't turn in oddball ways. So. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. So it's stepping back, and then maybe we wanted to then step forward. So we'll go to two seconds. We'll hold the command key down so we're allowed to pick multiple frames. right click, insert pose, and we're going to kind of switch the legs around. So this leg will go back, this leg will go forward, this leg will go forward, this leg will go back, and hopefully it'll look like he's walking. And maybe we'll have him close his mouth and look down a little. And we'll have him reposition his tail. So let's see, back and forth. We've got nice steps here. It looks really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each layer. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to select what I just pasted. And I'm going to reverse the frames. So theoretically, it should look like it's making a complete circuit. So let's see. I'm going to copy these frames. I'm going to paste them. And then I'm going to reverse them. Okay, copy frames, paste frames, reverse frames. Good so far. Copy. Paste. Reverse. Now, I don't understand why it does this. Why does the body go down like that? But that's fine. I'm going to uh, remove these frames because that didn't work. So... In this case, I'm just going to copy the frames and I believe I will just paste them. I don't know why it doesn't work on this particular layer. Let's try this one. Copy frames. Paste frames. Reverse frames. Okay, that works. 
copy frames, paste frames. Reverse frames. That layer, that works. It was just the body layer that it didn't work in for some crazy reason. Uh, so let's play it and see how it looks. Let me collapse this a little so that we can see the drag in and let me play it in a loop. So I'll extend this out and let's check it out. Let's see if I made a walk cycle. Now, one thing I'm noticing is if I go here, the head looks okay, but when I go to the next pose, the head is kind of removed from the body. So I'm going to pull it back a little. see if that looks better. Not bad. Okay, so now let's see. We have this nice sort of walk cycle. The dragon walking along. It's not perfect. There seems to be a few little blips, but it's pretty good. Okay, so now we have this. We're now going to take all these layers and I'm going to just use my control key I mean to do that. Now I've got every layer. I'm going to copy the layers or copy frames and I'm going to do insert new symbol and this time it's not going to be a movie clip. It's going to be a graphic symbol. And that symbol is going to be called Walking Pink Monster. Okay. We go here. And I'm going to go Paste Frames. Okay. So now I've got this graphic symbol called Walking Pink Monster. And now I'm going to take that graphic symbol and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to create a new document. And I'm going to go to the library. of this document and I'm going to paste in that graphic symbol walking pink monster. Now if I take walking pink monster and I just grab it and put it over here I can hold the shift key down and make it very very small. So now I'm going to take walking pink monster I just pulled it onto the timeline onto the stage and I'm going to create a motion tween and I'm going to just pull it out to about six seconds and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, where do I want Walking Pink Monster at? One second. I want him here. Okay, and then I can turn Walking Pink Monster if I want to. Sorry. And I can say, where do I want Walking Pink Monster at? Here. Okay, where do I want Walking Pink Monster at? Two seconds. Where do 
I want walking pink monster at four seconds. What do I want pink monster to do at five seconds? And where do I want him to go at six seconds? So now I've got I've created this this motion tween. And the nice thing is I can take Walking Pink Monster and I can put him into any other animation from now on as long as I save this file. I can just always go into this file, find the graphic symbol Walking Pink Monster and use him again and again and again. So let me just open up an old document. Let me see. Um... All right, let's see. So I've got this old project of this moving background. Okay, so if I want to, all I have to do is go to the library here. And paste in Walking Pink Monster. I'm going to take Walking Pink Monster and put him here. I can then make him smaller. Bring him in here. And now it's going to look, if I play my animation, It will look like the guy is either walking his pet monster or the pet monster is chasing him. Okay, so if I want to, I can actually um, move him to the other side of the stage. And then I can right click and transform, flip horizontal, and I can put him over here, right click, create motion tween, and I can say, okay, by the end of the animation, I want him over here. So see at the beginning of the animation I want him here. So let's play the animation. So the guy's walking in the night and there's this dragon going in the other direction. And anytime I want to use this walking pink monster going left, going right, any size I want him to be. All I have to do is find him in another project, copy him, and paste him into the new project, which is what I just did here. So that's how you take your um, character, any character, break him up, rig him into a puppet and then turn him into a graphic symbol that you can use over and over and over again change the size of and change the uh direction that he's going in so let's see i just made him bigger all right it's a very useful uh application